Panthers hosting the Bengals, and the Bengals are now three and a half point road favorites. The over under as at 47. The Bengals are minus 185 on the money line, and the Panthers are plus 154. Now, these are the pre kickoff lines. They're going to change the closer we get to kickoff on Sunday. They've already changed since I've written them down. The, oh, uh, the spread fell by a point. The over under fell by a point and a half. So, there's a lot of action on these NFL games, and especially what happens on Saturday with college football. You'll see kind of what happens in this one. Now, it's supposed to be 77 degrees with 16% chance of rain and 7-mile-an-hour winds from the southwest. Now, head-to-head, -head, there actually was a tie when these teams played each other. The Bengals are 3-1-1. One, one. The home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 3-1-1 one, one because of the tie. You know, no one really won that game. The favorite has won and covered the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 3-1-1 one, and one against the spread. The favorite is 4-1 and one on the money line. Then actually, the one game that was a tie, the underdog won. It's just one of the games the casino hit exactly, so it was a push. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 3-2, and two, and the over, which was at 48.5, was 3-2. and two. Now at 37, it's still 3-2. Uh, and two. The one point didn't make that much of a difference. The Bengals are 0-3, and... Three, and I don't know what the hell's going on with them. They just seem to love to get out behind the eight ball every season. There was a total of 26 points, 51 points, and then 71 points. The fact that they couldn't stop the commanders, 10 points in a loss, 25 points in a loss, and then 33 points in a loss. The fact that they were playing the Chiefs so tough and then they go out and lay an egg, it's sort of like what might happen in this game because everyone's just expecting them to just roll the Panthers. And the Panthers, 57 points, 29 points, and then 58 points. 10 points in a loss, 3 points in a loss, and then 36 points in a win. That had as much to do with... Uh, I want to say that had as much to do with the Raiders and Devontae uh, Adams dropping passes because he dropped at least four in that game. That should have led to first downs, if not better. Then it did and anything to do with Andy Dalton. Now, it's... It's wild to say, like, could I see the Bengals go out and absolutely trounce their former quarterback? Absolutely. Is this Bengals team looking like they're going to go out and trounce anyone? Not really. I'm going to take the Bengals on the money line because I do think they're a better team and I do th think they win. I'll take the Panthers getting as many points as I can. And I'm going to go over because seemingly neither one of these teams believe in playing defense. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.